So it doesn't matter how hard you try, well managing space on your windows is really hard. 90% of the times my drives are full. And if you ask your windows which one is the biggest file in your system, well after 1 hours later you'll get such result which is pretty complicated and you don't simply see the bigger file. I have got a really clever solution for you. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can manage your disk space on your windows. With the help of this one, you can able to see which file in your system is bigger one and you can focus on deleting those rather than dealing with the smaller files. Now here is my Windows 11. By the way, this is my test system. I use it on a daily basis to test various kind of softwares and things like that. But I don't have lots of softwares installed over here. But although you can see, both of my drives are full pretty much. And honestly, I don't know which file is occupying so much space over here. I only have installed few basic programs like Chrome, Steam and OBS and that's pretty much it. In order to see which file is biggest in your system, I have tried searching it over here in the file explorer. But you know what, this is a really old school way. You can see it takes a lot of time. Here into the search option, if you sort by the size, hopefully Windows will show you the biggest file in your system. The huge file size sorting option took a lot of time, so instead I tried another option. Sorting with the medium file size, it at least gave me two results in my system. But honestly, taking a look at this, this is totally useless. After some time, Windows gave me list of these smaller files. And actually, deleting those files will barely free up any significant amount of space that I can utilize. So instead, I got a better solution for you. This one is a third party software which help you to see which is the biggest file onto your disk. So you can quickly find that one to free up significant amount of space in your system. Here you can see I selected bunch of zero bytes file. Now these files are temporary program files that are created by the softwares. I have already verified it and I don't think these are any useful to me. So I'm gonna delete this one and now you can clearly able to see which one is the biggest file. So here in my system we got 50 gigabytes of users folder. Right into that we got 24 gigabytes of app data folder and into that we got again 10 gigabytes of android folder. And that's how you can pinpoint the biggest file in your system. And the most important thing is you can see your entire folder structure of your drive and there it is finally with this software I found out that I was using android studio and it is using lot of space in my system. And again here you can see we got windows.old folder. Now this one is my old windows backup which I can decide to delete because I already have a running windows system and that will instantly free up 15 gigabytes of space. By the way, to use the basic functionality of this software, you don't need to pay for it. It's totally free in that regards. I use this software for many times and I recommend you to try it out just the free version. With this software, you can easily able to pinpoint the biggest file in your system easily. I really like that this software shows you the entire map of your drive storage. Here you can see the percentage, how much drive it is occupying can see the folder number count, also the last modified date, files and pretty much everything. Now this is just the tip of the iceberg. You can select the directory. Right now I was in the C directory but let me go into the D directory which is my main storage folder and you can see how fast it is scanning all the files and in real time we can see the results. They are updating. Now here I noticed something very unusual. This folder is consuming like too much space. You can see 31.9 gigabytes and just deleting this single file can give me a usable amount of free storage space and in basically no time I freed up 31 gigabytes. By the way a word of a caution though, uh, deleting files in your C drive can damage your windows itself. So make sure you should not uh, delete the programs or the actual windows files. Now that I have freed up lot of space on my system, let me show you. Basically no time I freed up 34 gigabytes and 18 gigabytes in C drive as well. By the way, the software I was talking about is tree size. You can search it on Google and you will see here you can download this software for totally free. I hope this video was helpful. Did you manage to free up space in your windows? Do let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to hit that like, share this video, subscribe to our channel and this is Kedar from How to Guys signing out.